Hey, I'm Winter and this is True Cherishment 15. Is this the So today's topic is valuing life. Now, sadly, my cousin couldn't be here um, to film the video with me, so I texted the questions to her and she she replied back. So I'm just gonna um, read her answers. I can find the text. That I mean, how many people have a text since I texted her last? Good news. Great. Where is she? Okay, there she is. <laughs> Okay, um, so the first question I asked her was, what does it mean to value life? She said, live life to the fullest. Um, I agree with her on that. Uh, val valuing life to me, though, it's, I guess, it's taking the good and the bad and looking at the person it makes you. Um... bettering yourself from all your life experiences taking time to really just look at the world around you and look at the people around you and really take in those moments that's what it means to value life for me um so I, it's basically the same thing uh why is it important to value life and she answered because you only live once um yeah that's like dead on. You only live once, so you have to make the um, most out of it. You have to learn how um, how how much these moments really mean. How powerful the moments you live are. Um, you know, you remember crazy things all the time, but why? I got another text message. Um, but why? So, um, it's important to value life because, yeah, you only live once. No one wants to be on their deathbed thinking, wow, I didn't live, or wow, what I did in my life means nothing to me, or I didn't have fun at all in my life, or I didn't like my life at all. You can change that. You're the only person that has the power to make each day a good day for you. You are the only person. The attitude you have when you wake up, I'm just going to tell you how it should be. I'm sorry, I usually don't say it should be this or it should be this. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I should be happy. It's another day of life. So many people who are great people inside and do so much for others, they're no longer here. They, they died when they were 25 or 30. Or maybe even they died when they were 12. And they're just fill, filled with so much love and life. And here you are just like, oh my god, another day. Like, make each day count. When you wake up, you shouldn't... Even if you know that day you have like 50 tests or your boss is going to be on you about something... At least you're alive. Make the best out of it. That's the fun part of life. Having all these challenges thrown at you and being like, nope, I'm not going to let that get to me. My day is going to be good today. When you do that, it's just, it brings so much just richness to your life. Okay, whatever. I don't even want you like that. That's so nice. Oh, okay, my phone fell. Dang it. Goodness. Okay, so I asked her, is it easy or hard to value life? My, what I see is hard to value life. Keeping good attitude and positive outlook on life can be really, really hard sometimes. Um, she said, hard sometimes, because to live life to the fullest, you have to work for it. An example is college. There are so many great reasons why you should go to college. Now, I'm not saying you have to go to college, but 
there's so many great reasons i love learning um i don't like school but i love learning new experiences um doing new things i love it i love getting all this knowledge that's kind of why I want to go to college. I want to better myself and also I think I want to be a veterinarian and you can't just leave high school and then go cut open a dog. So. But um, I have to say it's hard and the reason for that, um, I probably just said it, but um, whoa, whoa. Something happened with my computer. What was it talking about? <coughs> oh yeah, it's hard to value life, because uh, it's hard to keep that positive attitude and that positive outlook all the time. Um, also, something was on the top of my tongue. Something was on the top of my tongue. I just forgot it. I. Cause I just do these videos on the sort of moment. I don't like. I ask myself the questions sometimes and I just read the questions before I go and do it but I feel like it's more raw and better quality sometimes sometimes not so much when you just do it from your heart but I'm sorry um so I think it's hard to value life because you have to keep positive outlook um and uh, sometimes it's hard to see hope it's just hard to look on the bright side again and even think that remotely things are going to get better. So, that's what I have to say about that. Ooh, ooh. <coughs> okay. Oh no. Okay, um, when do you value life the most? I asked her, and why? She said, now in high school, because it doesn't last forever, and high school is when you find yourself most of the time. And also whenever you're falling in love or getting married. <clears throat> so um, I value life most with the little moments. Just yesterday I was sitting, no it was Sunday, I was sitting with my family in our family room and just being in the room with them. Everyone was quiet. We were all doing our own little thing. Then we kind of all was watching TV for a moment. Just being there together it just it just meant something to me um one time i was in school was in 10th grade i don't know why we were all work uh well i know why we were all working on our assignment but um i don't know why i looked up i just did and i was just like gosh i love all these people in this room i don't like some of them but i love them it was just like a calm in me like wow i i get to go to school i get to go to school with these people who don't bully people. Yeah, I was like, wow. And, and, or those, I think everyone has to stop for a moment and looked at the little moments or just stopped and something seemed to like slow down. Like if you're walking the streets with your best friend, you just kind of like, wow, I'm so grateful for this person beside me. I get to do activities with them like this and wow the time I have with them is always filled with happiness and laughter I don't know I just I like the little moments they make they make life worth living and what my cousin was saying was like falling in love and and finding yourself achieving like the small achievements um like the second you finish a project you're like done that happiness you get, there's nothing that can compare to that. It's just, those moments, they bring you a certain type of happiness that you can't, you can't explain. Um, <clears throat> gee, I don't, I don't know what else to say besides that. Whoa. What you say? Okay, so I asked her, asked her, I asked her a question. I said, oh, what does valuing life do for you? She says, a better life, generosity, you learn to enjoy the little things, a happier life. You learn to be thankful. So, yeah, um... 
You learn to appreciate the little things. You um, learn that there's no point in always focusing on the bad because you're um, never going to see the good if you're always focusing on the bad. But you learn to take the bad in life. Um, <clears throat> you learn to take the bad in life because without the bad, how are you going to see the good? Um, it adds a richness to your life. You become, I don't know, just valuing life and looking at the small moments and just living life the way you want to. It brings happiness to you. It brings kind of a wholeness to you. Well, to me. I don't know what it does for you, but you can tell me what valuing life does for you in the comments below. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos, alright? Okay, remember, each day is a gift.